All right, welcome back. So joining us virtually is Mike Fruge again. He's going to be teaching us how to make the Melek Masquerade. I'm excited so for excited. this. So excited, yes. Look at this setup. So <laughs> I nice. know. This is courtesy of JT Melek. So Mike, what is the first step that we need to do? So first thing you want to do is grab a bottle of JT Melek. Got it. And got measure that. out an ounce, one and a half ounces of JT Mullet. Uh -oh. I'm gonna give you okay, this because I don't trust myself. <laughs> Woo! Wait, is it just? The, does that mean just like a shot's worth? Yeah, I think put so. Put it in where? Put let's put it in the tumbler. Okay, wait, here we go. So we'll do, we'll double it because we'll make two, right? Uh oh. Here, here, wait. Toss it in. One. One. This is like a science experiment over here. Okay. Two. Okay. What's next? The next, uh, you're going to get uh, half an ounce of blue curacao. That's, uh, you can find that anywhere locally at your grocery store. Um, you just add that to your mixer. Okay. What's the correlation between ounces and tablespoons? I mean, honestly, Taylor, I'm <laughs> so glad you just asked that because I was like, mm, okay, Two ounces. This is where I Google when I'm cooking at home. <laughs> I feel like Mike's drink is going to come out a lot better than ours. Okay, yeah, what's next? So Half an ounce of lemon juice. Lemon freshly juice. Freshly squeezed, okay. preferably. Ooh, that I feel like freshly squeezed makes all the difference, oh, yeah. especially in fun cocktails. Okay, okay I'm going to say. All right. Yeah. I, was, I think that's I, enough. I, that's all enough. right, yeah. we're ready. And then another half an ounce of um, um, syrup. Or that's this one. Is you know, the simple, simple syrup. syrup. Sorry, syrup. I was. Okay. Yep. Okay. I'm excited for this. This is gonna be good. I can already tell. Okay. It smells good already. How's that? I think that's okay. We'll we'll find out. <laughs> okay, and then your last ingredient is cranberry juice. Cranberry juice. Mm. And. Yeah, you know, the recipe calls for two and a half ounces, and I, I think you can be more or less of that. Okay. Personally, I use a little bit less. What about you? And, uh, okay. let's, let's go with the recipe. Okay. So when you guys were making this, how did you come up with this concoction? Now, that's a long story and, and, and uh, goes back a couple of years. Um, okay. We've had a couple of people help us along the way. Yeah. Uh, there's a low carb cocktail guy. He's on the internet. He, he's contributed to a lot of our recipes. Even people in the office, they bring different things in. So, um, what That's I fun. like to do is uh, once you get all the ingredients, then you add ice to it. Okay. To your shaker. Okay, so got the that. ice in. Yeah, add the ice to your shaker. Okay. And if you don't have a shaker, clear. you could, of course, uh, just stir this. But we, I like to do a shaker. We got a shaker. Okay, I okay. don't know how well this shaker right. works. That's the Here question. Here we go. <laughs> shake it up. I think it's working. It so is. far, no yeah. spillage. Okay. Now, you can serve this over ice, but I prefer it straight up. Do you want ice? In or a martini you... glass or um, a cocktail sure. glass? Sure, let's put a little ice in there. I should be asking Adam because Adam is... Adam's been this. dying to try yes. this. Okay, and then we just pour... Ooh, this is such oh, a wow. pretty that is. It looks good. color. Wow. I love this. And we, it looks like we got the right amount of measurements in here. Yeah. I cannot wait. OK, so Mike, I'm going to show you. Does this something extra that's not on the recipe? Oh. I add a little sparkling water to the top of it, just to top it. Oh, wow. And oh. then uh, we got a little Mardi Gras color, <laughs> a little bit of that lemon so and good. lime peels. That we looks so this, good. Uh, beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, but, I can uh, see it. That looks, looks so great. beautiful. And, uh, well, cheers. The only problem with this drink is it tastes too good. It tastes you drink it too, fast. too good. I can't wait. Adam wants to taste yes, it. So, Adam, Adam come on, on over, over here. Okay. I'm going to try mine. Oh, wow. Ooh. I like the cranberry. I can only imagine yeah. what it tastes like with the tapachico and then the extra. Yeah, just a little bit of tapachico on top. Oh, really wow. I love that. Which is it. That's awesome. I so good. Love that. Mike, wow. gonna, thank you so much. What were you going to say? I was just going to say we need to add that to the recipe that we posted, so we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll fix that. But, uh, you know, I wanted to add that if anybody's looking for JT, go to our website, jtmillet.com, locator page, put your zip code in, tells you where we are.
I, I love that. And we're going to post where you can find JT Melek on our website, plus this recipe, kaleyup.com. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this.